After 1 minute and 12 seconds of logos, another 12 seconds of credits are dedicated to those same studios. Let's get started. Is this movie saying that the world is so obsessed with Wendy Williams and the Real Housewives of Miami that we didn't pay attention to the environmental warning signs? Kids jump on sleeping parents' beds so we know this is a loving family cliche. Remain with your this truck literally comes out of nowhere. It's nowhere behind the cop when he drives up to Jerry and it makes no sound before it smashes into him. Shaky cam is shaky. Zombies are fast cliche. Wait, somehow during all this commotion trying to get his daughters to safety, Jerry focuses on one random zombie act in the middle of the whole city of mayhem. Get to the RV! How in the f does this RV not get taken by, oh, the other thousand people running around the street? It's a wonder that the previous owners abandoned this RV, considering there are absolutely no cars in front of it while Jerry drives it. Discount Inception music. Movie rips off the kid has asthma to add dramatic tension thing from signs. And Goonies. And... Why do vehicles always have trouble starting during zombie apocalypses? Movie simulates post-apocalyptic Newark with stock footage of regular Newark. I don't even know too many grocery stores that have motor oil for sale, much less located near the dairy section. But anything that's convenient for our hero to lean up against during a gunfight, I guess. I got it in my mouth. That's what she said. Okay. You're okay. And that's what I said. Water. I'll organize. Just like a bureaucrat to need to organize the delivery of drinking water to four people. Well, shit. If the fate of the world is in the hands of the guy that caused the Skynet Judgment Day event, then we're all fu- and she loves disguising her weaknesses as strengths. Its weakness is that it doesn't like sick people. How is that a weakness disguised as a strength again? One of the first main characters to die during the zombie outbreak movie dies by slipping on metal. It's a zombie movie, guys. If you want to take out the doctor guy and leave Brad Pitt on his own to deal with the mission, that's okay. I'm cool with that. Just maybe have him get taken out by a zombie, like this other soldier here does, instead of something absolutely stupid. Tooth pulling. Fucking sprint. Even though three of those turn off your cell phone commercials played before this movie, asshole Jerry still leaves his on during this sound-sensitive trek to the plane. I began my investigation on the assumption that when they said zombies, they meant zombies. There is no way that an outbreak that turns people into zombies would go unnoticed in this day and age. And this movie is clearly set in the time of Twitter and Reddit where you can read about things in real time. So the fact that Israel was the only country to figure out what was going on is completely ludicrous. But okay, let's assume every country in the world is stupid. If Israel was indeed the only country to figure this out, then how did they build a zombie wall in time around a city that is 125 square kilometers? And why didn't they share information with everyone else? Why didn't they send video and photos to the world, like to the internet, and say, hey, look, there's fucking zombies everywhere. You might want to do something about this. It's too loud. It's too loud. And during all this dude's research about zombies, he didn't find out that they get crazy when they hear lots of noise, and that maybe it would be wise to keep the sound down to a minimum. So wait, behind this wall, there's always a bunch of commotion. Buses driving in, helicopters flying overhead, but it's the singing that makes the zombies form this zombie pyramid to scale the wall? What is this, the walking dead hero who? Also, with all these helicopters flying around, how did they miss this sh How did this zombie get on this plane? He's clearly not shown catching up to the plane on the runway, so he must have gotten in here before. And was he hiding? Do zombies hide? And if this dumbwaiter or compartment thing is important enough to exist on the plane, then why didn't anyone open it before now, right at the end of the flight? Was it just so the plane crash could still happen close enough to Jerry's destination that he could get there before nightfall? Jerry just watched these things scale a gigantic wall, and yet he still wastes precious time and effort building a suitcase fort to try and keep them out. You know what this place is? Of course I do. That's why I'm here. Then you understand how this must look to us. Huh? This guy has been lying unconscious for three days, never once showed a hint of becoming a zombie, and you're scared of what he might do for what reason again? Back on the plane, we were told this phone's battery ran out. Did the WHO facility just happen to have a charger for this particular phone lying around? Also, they've had this mystery person lying unconscious for three days, and they never bothered to call anyone on the phone to figure out who he was? I'm sorry, Jerry. I, don't. I did what I could. I know this is tough news, but is it so hard to complete this sentence? Can't you just say that you had to kick his family off the boat like a bunch of dogs instead of leaving him hanging? I understand how you feel. Do you? Yes. Yes. Do you have family? No. No. And you couldn't possibly understand, could you? I know how you feel. You can't possibly know how I feel, cliche. Brother, I lost my son too. So Jerry asks this dude if he has a family, and he says Some no, like he's never had one, one, leading to the righteous anger, and then Nope, I really did have a family, asshole. And they're dead now. Well, we Don't you feel like a total cock right about now? I'm sorry. You have nothing to be no. sorry for, Jerry. We all heard that dude mislead you into the you can't possibly know how I feel cliche. That's the vault. We can make it. No, we can't. Five, six, nine, six, four. 
So wait a minute, they didn't bother to give everyone the code just in case this very thing happened? And when Jerry goes into the room, he has no idea what he's looking for? And somehow they went on this mission without Jerry's suddenly working phone or a walkie-talkie, which they clearly have. But hey, I guess anything to make the mission harder so it's more dramatic for the audience, right? But okay, let's assume that everyone is dumb and or there are no communication devices whatsoever. There isn't an intercom in this place just in case there's an emergency or something? It seems like once they found out the zombies were attracted to the noise, they could have just dropped stereos blaring Creed into stadiums like this all around the world and just blow them up. If he uses anything he took from that left case, he's dead anyway. Flanders. You was a zombie? Being granted. All clear. Light him up. Worcestershire Sauce Emergency Hotline. This call might be monitored to ensure you the highest quality service. How may I help you? There's a bunch of zombies here! Please hold. Guns are... half measures. How then? What is this? What happened to him? He slipped. He didn't slip on his teeth, did he? 